All right, so this is an elite chances. Okay. Okay, so first off, if you could have let out a little bit more lateral, more lateral would have given you a better line. If you could have taken one more step here, that way you could have driven this way towards this hoop. Um, she, I've watched this already, so um, I know she missed, She has a hard time with this hoop. So I would have let out a little bit farther here and keep driving and looking to the outside of this obstacle until you know she's there. Okay. Because, like, you're coming out of here, and you think she's got it, but she's coming out. She came out of the tunnel turning more towards you. And you both are parallel, and you just needed to stay open a little bit longer to get her to take that jump. Um, all right, so you get the jump. And then stand, you should just stand, don't just stand there, like, pushing at her. Take a step. As soon as you feel like she's not going to take that jump, let me back up even a little bit more here. Well, let's just watch it again. Um. Like, here you should have just been open a little bit more, facing the corner. And then once you feel like, okay, she's missing it, bring her back. And then you just stand there. Move your feet, move your feet. Instead of moving your hand, step towards her. Because then you still have time to get this part. All right, so here. All right, so one a little close to actually you're, you're pretty good here you're away from the line which is great like you gave yourself room here but then watch your left hand so your left hand is all the way down here back here you want to just bring your arm forward and then see how it kind of is out okay but she's still reading it but then see you drop it and so she was driving out there but your arm dropped and so she comes in. So let's just watch. See, so she doesn't take the tunnel because you totally turned. Okay, so let's watch this again. Okay, so don't watch her, watch you. Okay, so you gave yourself room here. Great job. Step so that left hand should be out. And right here, see how you stop, you stutter, you take a turn. Um, Let's see, back up again a little bit. So left, left arm should have stayed out. See, you're getting close to the line, so see how you stutter? And then you, turn, you rotate your body, and then you start to run. And so that's why she doesn't take that jump, and then you're like, oh shit, I gotta throw my arm out. I mean that tunnel. So you need to just stay committed to the jump. See, you even did it there. Even when you cross the line, watch how your arm goes, okay, she's going to the tunnel, and then you drop it, and then she goes to the tunnel, which she shouldn't have, okay? So you need to maintain commitment to the obstacle you want her to go to, which in this case is the tunnel. So you need to keep your eyes, fingers, toes pointed towards that tunnel until she's in the tunnel. Like, don't assume just because it's a tunnel that she should go to the tunnel and then you can peel off and leave. You need to stay committed. Like, your arm out, it, sh you, it should have stayed like that the whole time and not dropped. Keep that arm out, keep that arm out. Your arm's not even out. And then you're like, okay, let me pick her up, which that was a good pickup. But that was the um, issue there is that you dropped your arm and she didn't know... Um, why did you have to do that part from the chances line too? That, that ending. Um, anyway, I think that was the the big issue was you dropping your arm. You're not staying committed to that tunnel. Keep that left arm, left eyes, fingers, toes pointed towards the outside of the tunnel. So make sure from now on when you're sending her, your dogs to the tunnel that you maintain commitment with the tunnel. You and then unless unless you want to turn, you want to turn off the tunnel. Then you drop your arm. If you want your dog to come out of the tunnel turning tight, then you drop your arm sooner. Um, but in this case, 
you just didn't keep commitment to that tunnel enough and you turned and like ran. So she read that as a turn cue. Good girl.